best advice I've been given is that I can't sing in tune. You have no musical ability because that made me strive for the top, made me strive even harder. You've got to want it and you've, you've got to sleep it. It's part of you. It becomes your life, your whole life, really. It's a voice. It's, it's not just a song, it's a voice. And I really believe it's a gift. My three must-dos to be an entertainer is to make people laugh, make people sing, and make people cry. If I can't do that in a show, then I'm wasting my time. Make it believable and keep it true. Wahine Māori are hardwired to think about what's good for people. I know that my lived experience can help so many others. The photographs, the record of how divisive that period was. I never stand up there and say, I speak for all Māori. I just oh, try to do the best I could with something that I could do well. I'd like to do that. Rolling cameras. Rolling. Maybe. Dennis IV. Take one. Mark. I like your shirt. Te kumaunga rangiruru. Te kuawa kaituna. Te iwi tapuika. Te kumarai te kaika. Ko. Dennis Te Uhi Marsh. Oh, I'm a builder by trade, but at the moment I'm still building, but not as much, not as much as I could be. Yeah, it's too heavy now, the hammer. Could Dennis Marsh te kaihoko puro country nui katoa o Aotearoa? Ko toru te kau āma ko pai waiata, e rua i eke ki te taumata tuatahi i te kauwata o Aotearoa. I nā te nui o āna kohu waiata, i whakawhiwhia hoki ki āia te NZM mo āna mahi i te ao waiata. Ko whakatoka ia i tāna noho ki te hītori o te ao puoro i Aotearoa. Let's just start with the usual. We do the lead voice first. Yep, we can do it, yeah. And then we'll see how we go. Then the harmonies after that. Just put it down. Just like you've done next to me now, it's exactly the same. Don't yeah. change it, it worked really well. So I'll do what we always do. I'll just, I'll just start it off. Yep. And you just see where your voice fits, as okay. you always yep. do. Are you hearing me okay, Dan? No, I can't hear you. Just give me a one, two, three. One, I got two, you now. Okay. Three. Yep. So here, here comes the track, Then You just yep. sing along and I'll get my levels. Dennis has sold to date over 300,000 CDs. That's 300,000 CDs in tiny little Aotearoa, New Zealand. That's no mean feat, no mean feat at all. And people like his music because he sings easy listening country music, Nashville country music songs. That's his genre. Around you is a light that keeps on blowing. Dennis's work ethic, I think, is the reason he succeeded to the extent he has. He is utterly focused utterly focused when he's doing a project. If we're doing an album, Dennis sort of eats, sleeps, and breathes that project for that time, almost to the exclusion of all else. He is the highest selling country music artist in New Zealand of all time. Makes me 
Oh, it didn't take long. This one became gold, that one came gold, and then it paid for the next one, and it paid for the next one. So my first 10 albums were, were, were to me, was really fabulous, you know. Or is it love that makes me see these things? I think that's absolutely bang on, Dan. I was born at my grandfather's house. My mum said, you were born under the stars. And, um, well, I tried to be one, but I've got a long way to go yet. <laughs> There's 10 of us in our family, so we all grew up as, a, as a, a family. And we did a lot of growing up with my dad. We used to manage all these big farms. So it wasn't long before we moved from one area to another area to another area. Horses, love horses, ride horses. Did all, all that sort of thing. I started shooting, using my rifle of a horse and um, shoot rabbits while I'm riding a horse. That was one of my jobs, to go and get something to eat. You know, Dad said, go and get a pig. And I said, how big? And he said, that high? Come back with a pig, that I. My mum said to me, son, I used to work. She said, I can't cook. But when I was growing up, they had quite a big family too. And she said, my job was to put the gear onto the horse, hook up the, the chains. Oh, <laughs> and then drive the sledge and that sort of stuff. And then go across to where her father was and help to dig the land to make uh, VG gardens and stuff like that. So she was brought up as a worker. And you could see it in, in everything that she did. She was a worker. Did you get your work ethic from mum? I, I think I did. I, I really do. I think I got it from... She never had to tell me to go to work. I was off. Oh, yeah out of the school bus and gone, look for Dad. All the other ones went home, hungry, or whatever, you know, yeah. Or go home for a fight or whatever, but I'm off to look for Dad. Dad was my mentor, and I didn't really know it till after he'd left. And um, he used to say to me, if you break something, you can fix it. If something um, disappears, you can find it. He said, there's nothing left for us to do about life. If you stand back and look at what you're trying to achieve. My mum and dad were great examples of how I wanted to live. Really great examples. If I could live as long as they did and be still together, man, it's, that's my dream. It te wā te kauma ono ngā tau o Dennis, i hunuku ia atu i tōna kāinga ki tāmaki ki te whai wāhi atu ki te kaupapa Māori trade training. He kaupapa i tautoko i te hunga Māori rangatahi ki te uru ki ngā kaupapa kāmura, i whai wāhi atu ki te kaupapa ko tētahi nohonga ki ngā kāinga taone. Me ngā rauemi i tau wai tā rātou noho ki te taone. Koe rā te wā i tū pono āia ki ngā puoro kraitiana. My oldest brother always had the radio on. He was always listening. But me, I was out on the farm. And um, so I didn't get into music properly, even kapahaka at school. And I wasn't sort of bothered too much. I used to go in here and muck around. But that didn't interest me at all. So I went on a building trade. I got in and I went come to Auckland and Loved every minute of learning how to be a builder. So in three years, we were able to leave as almost qualified builders. Three years. When I was in the hostel, I learned lots of songs. And most of them were hymns. <laughs> yeah, most of them were hymns. 
So even, even driving my mates to the party, we all sang hymns at a party. It was, it was just something we did. One day some people came into the hostel where we were singing. It just happened to be voice people, you know. And they said, we've got a really good baritone singer here. Would you like to join a, a group? And we did a lot of work singing together as a gospel group. The more you do something, the, the, the better you get at it. And so that's what was happening to me. I ngā tau te kau i whai atu, i whai a Dennis i ngā mahi hangawhare, a i whakapau ia i tōna katoa ki te hāhi. I tere huri tōna umanga i tana tūtakitanga atu ki te Puro country. One of my mates came and said, hey, you should come along to the Country Western Club. I said, nah, I'm not going to go to the Country Western Club here. They're all old people and all they do is play violins. <laughs> That's what I thought, OK? But I, the first time I went, the biggest surprise I ever got, it was all Māoris on the stage, all playing. The steel guitarists, bass guitar, lead guitar, rhythm guitar. Half of them became my band. So by removing the hammer, picking up the microphone, this made me feel where I should be. Noho a Dennis ki puke kohe me tōna wahine o ngā tau rua te kauma ono me Yvonne. Kua karapotea raiwa e tō raiwa whānau. <laughs> Kia ora ho! Hey, mō tēnā! <laughs> mō tēnā! <laughs> Ke te whānau te puke ki te a koe. Tēnā koe. Tēnā koe. Hari mangi roto te whare? Hai, ka puti. Yeah. So Ivan's in now. Kiori, Ivan. <laughs> Long time. Long time, yeah. Long time no see. You okay? Yeah, good. good. Cup of coffee, Ivan? Cup of tea? Oh, no. We need your tongue. Why? You got tongue on a fan of a home like here? Piano quick? Yeah, can you pay me? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> I met Ivan at a country music uh, show and um, saw him playing guitar, just like all the rest of my band. Tato drummer, Tato bass player. From there, developed. I was like, I was like, I play my little top band. Oh, I. Yeah. One minute, I was like, what were we called? Highway 20... 22. The highway 22, that was us. Yeah. <laughs> kua pahurenga rā o te tū ki pēne takirima country. Ko te nuenga o ona hoa pēne kua mene ki te pō. Hei oe, ka ora i ona maharatanga. He tanga te tino ngā hau, Dennis. Uh, meaning that he's a very entertaining uh, person and very caring. He tanga te mōihana ki te manaki tangata. Um, meaning that uh, he's a person that uh, really cares for everyone and intervenes with everyone when he's entertaining in that. And, uh, yeah, cared in that these uh, band members. I noticed that in the 20 years that I've worked with Dennis, the Maori singing wasn't something that he did a lot of in the earlier years. And I didn't realise it at the time with my political naivety. I didn't understand that, you know, they were factors that discouraged, shall we say, recording of Maori singing because they weren't supported in the record shops and they weren't um, supported on air and that sort of thing. Hey, here, here, Dewi, Kitim, the Pakarunga Maiki, I know, where at the Māori. And, uh, Kuinata 
pori hea, ai a, kare kau ringa te moni i roto te nga wea te Māori ni. I think he wanted to do more, but felt that for, for whatever reason he couldn't. I kā hūnuku a Dennis i aia e tamariki ana, pēnei i te tini Māori i ngā tau o te ono te kau. Kaore ia i whai wāhi ki tōna reo Māori i te kura, i tere motu kia i reira ngā here ki tōna whakapapa me tōna reo. I was born more or less on the run all the time, so I learned a lot about farming, about what my dad did. And um, from there, that was it. We, we didn't speak English until I got the smack. I said to Dad, e, Patua au te, te kaihoko o te kura. Why? He said, oh, ka, ka e And that was what it was for, for saying something in Māori. So from there it started, my dad said to me, don't worry, son. He said, you need to learn their way. You have to learn the way of the, the Pākehā. That's what he said to me, you know. The tikanga Māori was just left on the side for me. And yet my dad was like an orator. He was just one of those sort of speakers that would speak on the marae and then he'd finished the, the corridor. So it made it worse for me to keep hold of my Māori tanga because I was trying to learn English as well. So it's been a sort of a struggle, yeah. It just felt like I was losing something. I think it was important for me not to lose it. It's just like losing your arm, I guess. Where's my arm? It's supposed to be here and it's supposed to be helping me with what I'm doing. And I think the real was exactly the same. You, you've lost something. You, you, if you don't keep at it, you're going to lose it. And if you lose it, it's, um, it's not worth anything to you anymore. So don't sing this time, we're just listening. All right, playing back. What's that round your head? Is it a halo? And what's that on your shoulders? Is it we? It's beautifully together. Beautifully together. To me, Dennis has got that quintessential big Maori sound. It, 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 the male Maori sound that I think of in terms of Dennis is a very masculine, deep, big sound. Look at this, Dan. This is exactly what we were, we were, ask, we were hoping for. So we've got, our, we've got our melody. Is it a halo? Then you did the low one. Is it a halo? You happy with that? Oh, yeah. right. That's all right. And then you added the high one. Is it a halo? So if we listen to that just on its own. Is it a halo? That's the sound. Yeah. You don't spend a lot of time doing takes with Dennis. It's usually a couple from the top. I've seen him eat a hamburger and walk into the studio and just put down the vocal and that was the one. So there's there's nothing normal about Dennis. <laughs> nothing normal about Dennis the way he works. He doesn't spend 10 minutes warming up and doing scales. Is it we? So when people ask you what the Dennis Marsh sound? Yep. That's it. Melody. Something's wrong. One it harmony on the top, yeah. one harmony underneath and close and big and tight. You must be a walking piece of heaven. That's perfect. Ahakoa ona tau mahatanga me te reo, i ki te ahe oranga e Dennis i te wā i poroporo āki ia i tētahi o ona tino iho pūmanoa. I said to a friend of mine, I said, do you want to come with me down to Tūranga Waiwai? We're going to go down there and say goodbye to Billy. My dad said, son, if you're going to say anything, say it short. So I just got up and thanked him for coming. Kia koutou mātanga, a rauranga tira. A kia koutou i karanga mai mātou. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. E tamaiti nohi nohi anahau, kārea au i mohi o te tikanga. 
o tini, tini marae. Engari, ka huri a to hau te reo, tūrua, ka mohi o tātou kato. And then the first one waved me at like this. He said, he just pointed me to the door. He said, ko we put kōrero, pērā e to mai tī nohi nohi anā koe. And then he went to switch to English. He said, you'll never know the money that you have on this marae. He said, it's, was you. Come in and have a cup of tea now. But wait, there's more. <laughs> when I got home to mum and dad about two weeks later, my dad came and gave me hungi. And he said, uh, good son, very good. And I said, very good what? He said, time we had the radio going with microphones up on top of you. And we heard the whole thing. He said, I'm, I'm really proud of you. So there was a moment in my life I said, wow, I wish I could do more. He said, little is best. So I just did, did as little as I could, but it was enough. Yeah. How do you think we have food? Ito mato matu nui te rangi tini mato ino te kiu koe, paka pai ni e nei kai i runga mo mato tinana. Ake, ake, amini. Amini. Thank you, bro. Can I go on a tour with these fellas? Bun, bun. No, Ivan, I'll be doing the book work at home. That's what happens. I've got to stay home and do the behind the scenes work. That's cool. I'm sorting out what Dennis is going to take to the. um the shows. So what we do, we match up the jacket with the shirt so he gets a good match. And there I think might look all right. Yep, that'll work. Jackets are ready then. You're <laughs> flying down and then Doogie's gonna pick you up from the airport. Yep. Are going to take your microphone? I will take my microphone. Have yeah, you got your boots? Boots. Have you got your hat? Yeah, I've got my hat. Cool bananas, well, you're just about right. I'm looking forward to retiring soon, hopefully. Mm, that'll be the day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you booked out for the next five years, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> After the tour, I'm going to get it all cut off. The Before moment. the tour, because you won't be able to handle it on the tour, mate. Oh. He doesn't know at the end of life I'm going to give him the bill for all his hairdos. And we are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I say to my wife, make sure that you kiss me or I kiss you before I leave. I mean, it's just, could be our last. So we hold each other before we leave because it's getting closer toward the end. I'll show you a couple of bullet holes. Is there something? Um, this is where they put the wires in. So I've been to the walls as far as my heart is concerned. And I've got a new thing in here as well, a uh, pacemaker. But, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. They've kept, him, kept me alive for quite a long time now, so I'm happy. And we can um, go out there and enjoy ourselves now. I think we've got to do what we can, or do as much as we can in the time that we have left. So I think um, being precious is, it's probably more than being precious. I'm always aware of the decisions that I make. Are they the right ones or are they the wrong ones? And if it hasn't got anything that's going to hurt me, then it's the right decision. He has an NZM, Queen's Honours, and he's sold over 300,000 albums. And if you buy one tonight, it'll be 400,000. Been 30 years in the business and done 30 albums. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dennis Marsh. Make a noise, make a noise. We'll have honey for our pies. 
Dennis can definitely connect with people in a way that's it's quite remarkable. He makes people laugh. He's a very funny man. He's very much got the common touch, and he's never lost this. So he has the ability to make ordinary people feel special, because here is this famous man coming to talk to me as he does. So get the stones red and hot, put more poo-har in the pot. He breaks all the rules, and he'll be wandering around the theatre, shaking hands with people. I think that is a very important part of Dennis's appeal. He, he relates to ordinary people, and they love that. Well, have a hungry tonight. <laughs> we'll get the old guitar. When I go out to do shows, you can see a lot of the park is singing the songs, and I think, whoa, wow. You know, they've got the album. It's the only way they can learn it. <laughs> when I was looking at people, they weren't looking at me like, you know, like they didn't know anything. You could see them all trying, like with, even with Hangi tonight, they were trying. Teacher to they were trying. In the chorus, it's like a chant. I can't quite remember how it goes. Hee-haw, hee-haw. It's, it's that hoo-haw, hee-haw sort of sound. I don't know what it means. I've been in South Africa and trying to do it. I think it's an incredibly clever idea. And this is Dennis again. He'll take something like that that m people might in the business might say, that'll never work. The figures speak for themselves. We'll have the money honey tonight, tonight, tonight. Here we are. My dad said to me, it's, son, you've got to be calm in what you do. There's no news racing around trying to find the answer. It'll come. And that's been my philosophy for, for my life, is that if you wait long enough, the answer will be right in front of you. I don't know what successful means. I said, but I'm on that journey. You're still moving. Where's your goalpost? Well, I, I don't know. It's pro I'll probably, the ball will probably get kicked over more times when I'm dead. I'm happy to give to people songs that they can remember. I'm happy to give them music that they love. And I guess my job's done. But I'm still on that voyage that will, will not end. Your voyage will keep going even without you. There. Yeah.